Welcome to day 10, how to create a thriving, engaged community around your brand. The Retail Solve Blueprint to teach you everything you need to know to confidently grow and scale your brand. Build a connected community of loyal avengers and multiply your brand's impact, sales, and profits. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Dan Lohman. I've had the privilege of mentoring and working with hundreds of brands from pre-revenue to multi-billion dollars in sales. This is a culmination of the best strategies that are working today. I've spent years testing and perfecting them to save you valuable time and money and to give you the edge that you deserve. If you haven't done so yet, download the free 30-day guide to prosperity workbook at retailsolve.com 30-day workbook to help you get the most out of this brand building series. And go back and listen to all the episodes in this masterclass so you don't miss a thing. The strategies build upon each other in the order of the series. Please share these and help me raise the bar in natural. I want to take a moment to recap the last episode, how to convert your dream customers into loyal evangelists. In that episode, we talked about how to identify who your dream customer is and how to get to know them on an intimate basis. How do you get customers to know, like, and trust your brand so that when they go to the store, they buy it again and again and again so that you don't have to reacquire the same customer? And the best way to do that is to build a connected community outside of your brand. This is one of the best strategies if you want to help future-proof your brand. Take advantage of this strategy because this is going to give you significant and sustainable competitive edge. In the last episode, I made the point that if I go out and buy your brand, you don't know anything about me. And you don't know how I use your brand or how I celebrate it, how I share it with my friends and family. These are questions that you need the answers to. And then by understanding how I use your brand, you can use this to help develop a relationship with me, to help future-proof your brand. You can use these insights so that you start speaking my language. I talked about a couple strategies about why this matters. But before you can do this, you need to figure out how to bring me into your community and how to leverage it at retail. One of the biggest Achilles heels of big brands is they spend a lot of money to talk at us, to say, hey, we're great, we need to come buy our product. They don't develop that relationship with us. As a result, they rely heavily on paid promotions to get their brand in in customers' hands. Obviously, we can't afford that as small brands. We need to be a lot more creative. And the best way to do that is to use social media. If you know how to use social media and you know how to use it well, then you can leverage it to your advantage. Now, a lot of people, when I talk to them about using social media, it's just about putting content out. Look at our products. Aren't we great? Hey, here's something new that we came up with. Here's how you can buy it. Here's what someone said about it. That's not what I'm talking about. You need to have a conversational engagement. In other words, you want to enter your ideal customer's world and you want to engage with them. You want to help them solve particular problems. Let's say, for example, you have a plant-based milk, which is great for people that are lactose intolerant. Let them know how your product can help solve their problem. Not in terms of selling it to them, but in terms of, hey, I'm listening, I'm paying attention, and I want to help you solve the problem that you have with excess bloating and all the things that can go with that. And then learn how to appreciate how they view your product and the problem that you're solving for them. What I'm getting at here is that you need to become an expert in your customer. A lot of brands say they are, but I guarantee that after you take the Turnkey Sales Store Strategies course, you're going to be learning things that you hadn't thought of before. So you need to become an expert in your customer. Then you need to become an expert in your cu- in your competitor's customer. And you need to understand what the difference is. Why do they choose your brand over the other brand? By doing this, by getting to know your customer at that level, now you'll be able to aim, make sure that you're communicating in a way that resonates with them, using their language, for example. The best way to do that is to collect an email address and invite them into your group, invite them into your tribe. Big brands rely heavily on focus groups versus what I'm suggesting, which would be your tribe. Focus groups are people that are paid to come in and assess whether or not they like a product. I've seen a lot of examples of where focus groups don't provide accurate information. In other words, they said that they love the product, but they may not be your ideal consumer. So there's a disconnect there. If you have a tribe, a loyal tribe around your brand, then you're having a conversation with customers that know, like, and trust your brand. Customers that understand the difference, for example, between pink Himalayan salt and iodized salt, between organic and non-organic, plant-based, etc. As you get to better know your customers, then you're going to get insights that other brands don't have access to. I mentioned earlier that you need to learn how to speak their language. And ideally, you want to get to the point where they say, it sounds like you're in my head. 
In other words, when you're promoting your brand, when you're talking about your brand, whether it's retail, through your promotion, social media, etc., you want to use the same language that your customers do when they celebrate your brand. That takes a lot more effort than just simply putting a bunch of words on a piece of paper. That takes a lot more than just developing a lot of copy like big brands do. Another thing is, if you're able to do this and do this effectively and develop that loyal tribe around your customer, then you can invite them to help innovate and be take ownership in your brand by making them a part of what you're doing. In other words, let's say that you're coming up with a new product. You reach out to your customers, to your loyal tribe, and you say, you know what, we're thinking about coming up with a new flavor. Would you rather have banana flavor or chocolate? Ask your customers. They'll tell you what you want. And the best part about it is, is that once you develop that kind of relationship and you get that kind of feedback, now you've got customers that are anxiously waiting to buy the product as soon as it hits store shelves. In fact, you could reach out and let them sample the product before it even gets on the shelf so that you know that you've had a home run long before you spend the money and the expense of getting it onto a store shelf. Leverage this at retail. This is the information that retailers really want. You've heard a lot of times that all you need to do is print out a couple top-line can reports. That's not true. The same strategies that your competitors use to sell motor oil are not going to differentiate your organic baby food. If you can bring insights, actionable insights, about your unique customer and how your customer shops not only for your brand, your products, what are the other products that they put in their market basket when they come into a store? These are the insights that retailers really want. And remember, as I've talked about, your customer will pay a premium for products that deliver extremely high value. You've been led to believe that price is the only thing that sells your product. Nothing can be further from the truth. Customers want quality products that will meet their expectations. If you can exceed their expectations in terms of customer service, then that helps give you a leg up. That puts you in a position where customers will choose your brand over other brands. Another great thing about this is it can actually help you maximize your trade marketing ROI. I mentioned that if I go to a store and I had already planned on buying your brand and you give me a discount, well, that's great for me, but it doesn't help you raise your trade promotion ROI. There are a lot of creative strategies that I'll be sharing as we go through this series about how you can leverage your connected community to give me additional incentives for being a part of your loyal tribe. We'll talk about that later. Natural brands are leading the charge here. They're responsible for the disruptive marketing strategies, the guerrilla marketing strategies, as some people will call them. They found unique, creative ways to bring people into their tribe. Take a look at what other brands are doing in other categories as well. Model their behavior and then try to find ways that you could create a connected community around your brand. On the podcast episode, I share several ways where you can collect email addresses, provide a lot of great information, recipes, information about how to use your brand, information about your community, the founders, how the brand's put together, etc. You want to go and listen to several of the different podcast episodes where I talk about this. For additional inspiration, listen to podcast episode Secrets 210 with Chloe Servino Forbes, Fixing Our Broken Food System Beginning with Local and Natural. In this podcast episode, we talk about the Forbes 30 Under 30. This is Chloe's pet project. And what's great about this podcast episode is Chloe talks about her interaction with these disruptive thought leaders, about how she's able to find them and then share their story through the Forbes magazine and through all of her content. Listen to podcast episode 210 with Chloe fixing her broken food system, beginning with local and natural, where she shares not only a lot of insights, but connects you with her blog, with articles that she writes, where she celebrates thought leaders like we're talking about right here. In addition to that, Chloe's a great connector, and she puts out a lot of great content on LinkedIn, so you definitely want to check it out. Next, I recommend that you listen to Secrets 205 with Matthew with Chai's Organic. The profound impact a regenerative organic brand can have on shoppers, farmers, and our world. This is a great episode because Matthew talks a lot about how he leverages a lot of the strategies that we're talking about here. In this episode, Matthew talks about how he's developed a relationship with his customers and how he nurtures them and keeps them coming back again and again and again. His customers are extremely loyal to their brand. And more importantly, his brand has a connection to the community where the products are made, Sri Lanka. His customers understand and love the impact that they're making on organic farmers. 
Matthew shares his story about how his brand is making an impact, a lasting impact, on helping farmers around the world, about how his products resonate with customers, and how he's using that, that story, how it resonates with customers to drive sales for his brand. Secrets 205 with Matthew, Chai's Organic. The profound impact a regenerative organic brand can have on shoppers, farmers, our world. And next, I recommend that you listen to Secrets 223, How to Boost Shopper Engagement and Explode Sales with Ollie Bridge with Bonjour. This podcast episode is actually the audio for the free webinar that I recommended in the last lesson. I'd still recommend you go watch the free webinar because in that one, you're going to get to see how the tool is used, how Bonjour is used, and how it can help you connect with your consumer. How it can help you let your customers know that you appreciate them. How it can help you dramatically increase your conversion. In other words, how do you get a customer to buy your product again and again and again? That's your conversion. Bonjour is a great tool, and I highly recommend it. It's a tool that I'm definitely making a commitment to use. Secrets 223, How to Boost Shopper Engagement and Explode Sales with Ollie Bridge of Bonjour. Tip of the day, welcome shoppers into your community. Embrace them. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Invite them to co-create new products and become a part of your brand. I recorded a video which has illustrations and information that I can't include on an audio podcast. You can watch it on the podcast webpage. And you can get there by going to brandsecretsandstrategies.com slash session 236. In tomorrow's show, we'll talk about how to become a great storyteller and engage customers. This episode will build on today's conversation. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.